Hey guys and welcome to another session on dynamic programming. Today we're going to be talking about DPV 6.21, the vertex cover problem. So just to quickly read you um, about the problem statement. Um, this problem um, starts by saying that we have a graph GVE with a bunch of vertices and edges. And um, this is a subset of vertices S belonging to V that includes at least one endpoint of every edge, which is defining the vertex cover problem. And in, in common words, the vertex cover is a set of vertices that touches at every edge in the graph. So uh, we have to find a linear time algorithm with the following task, um, the end director tree, uh, TVE, and find the size of the smallest vertex cover of T, right? So it is a tree and um, uh, in the tree, we have to traverse and find the minimum set of vertices that touch every edge. So um, the example graph is given here and we'll use this example graph once we find our, or define our solution. We'll run through this uh, problem to see that we arrive at the right answer and the right answer here, the smallest vertex cover has size of three. All right, so with that, let's um, uh, try to derive uh, the, the building blocks to the solution. So the way we will derive the building blocks is that we define a function P, X, and another variable, um, which is um, include, exclude. So P, X, and this option is our function that gives us the minimum uh, vertex cover from a given node of the tree, right? And a tree has, you know, you can always look down from the tree from a given node and find the vertex cover. So that's uh, kind of our intuition. So define this P, the function P, as you're given a node and either the node is included or it's excluded, right? And you'll find both of those answers and we'll use these, um, both of these answers to define the dynamic programming solution to this problem. So uh, P is the minimum um, cover, X is the given node from which we are looking down and the option variable can be either include or exclude. Now, given this, let's look at the two building blocks that we can derive. So we said there's include and exclude options. So if you look at the include option, you can see that if you choose at any point in the tree, if you choose include uh, that node, then what happens? So on the left side in this block, you can see that if I include uh, one of the uh, parent nodes, uh, does that, I mean, it clearly covers these edges, right? They're tying it to the children. And so you might think that if I have already covered these edges, I should exclude the child nodes. Um, turns out that, you know, you don't know that answer. You may include or you may exclude these child nodes. And I'll cover that in a second. So if you include this node, the solution still has to cover both aspects. You must try the include, you must try the exclude, you must try the include on the right side, you must try the exclude on this one, and you must take the minimum of all this and the minimum of all this and then add them together and that would give you the cover on the left side, the cover on the right side, and the sum of them would give you the total cover plus one because you included this parent node. So that would be this left side uh, solution. Now, if you excluded this parent node, how do you cover these edges? So you must include these two nodes, right? The children nodes must be included. So the option of this P function, you have to sum these two by assuming they are always included. So that is the intuition for these two. Now we're gonna come back here and explain to you in a second, why did we do this? Because this is an important part. This left side Lego, you have to understand that if we include this parent node, then um, why don't we just simply exclude? Why don't we just say, uh, you know, this plus exclude of this, exclude of this, right? And so let's look at that next. 
so the way to think about it is let's draw this graph you know let's plug in this part that let's say there's this branch here going into this and there is just two more children below it and their leaf nodes right so if you include this obviously it's possible to exclude this but then how do you cover these two you must include both of these right to cover these these edges so what is the size here if you do this you get one plus two plus three so you get a three size three uh, vertex cover now but we are remember we are asked the smallest vertex cover and so to get to the smallest vertex cover you we must include this and we can include this so what happens if you include this then the then you are covering both of these edges and the cost is two so even though we included that we must check that the next one the child node it could be either include or exclude and you have to uh, take the minimum of both of those costs so that's the intuition to say you cannot just say exclude here because you have already covered this edge you don't need to include this one so that's that's the intuition behind the other one now having understood this let's go um, through this problem that's given and see if we can apply this algorithm um, and uh, and try to solve this right so there is clearly there is the algorithm says the following the algorithm the recursion is that if you're trying to find a node x which is let's say this node so the recursion says that if i'm going to include this then obviously there is a one for this plus um, you have to take the minimum of including the child node or excluding the child of child node and then the same thing for this other node and if there are multiple nodes you have to do this for every node but you must do this for every node you must find the include and exclude options uh, for those child nodes and sum them right minimum of this minimum of this and you sum all the child nodes the minimum across all child nodes and sum them because every every child node must be included now the alternative is that you must exclude this node and if you exclude this node then you must include these nodes so the function p has to be run with these nodes included so that's that's our recursion and so let's apply that recursion here in this case so at the bottom let's say this g node if you look at the node g if it's included then it's one but if it's excluded there is looking down from here there is no children so the, if you exclude it it's zero right and if you included this node if you said include this g then it's the only one to be included there is nothing beyond this there's no edges to cover so it's just one so now going back going further from there let's look at f so if f is included then you have one for f and the minimum of g's include and g's exclude options and we know that the minimum is zero so one plus zero this one becomes one exclude is if you exclude this you must include g and the include g size is one so this is one and this is one in this case um, this becomes one plus minimum of one comma zero and the minimum one comma zero is is zero so this becomes one and if you exclude this node then it just include this node which is one so and the and the minimum of both of these uh, if this was the parent node we would have to find minimum but we just leave it as such so we know the include path uh, size is one exclude path size is one next any node that does not have any children we can always just copy this because exclude cost is zero include cost is one then we look at this one in this case if you include this node then the cost becomes one plus one for itself plus the minimum of the minimum of include exclude on this side plus the minimum include exclude on this side what is the minimum here zero and what is the minimum here one so one plus one this becomes two if you exclude this node then it, you must include all these nodes so there the include cost is one and two so this becomes three so uh, include is one and i'm sorry this is this is one so one plus one one plus one is two 
right? So if you exclude it, cost is two. If you include it, then it becomes one plus, minimum here is zero, and minimum here is one, so it becomes two. So include cost becomes two, exclude cost becomes two. Again, this is a, a leaf node, include one, exclude zero. We follow this one, include will become one plus um, minimum here, and minimum here is two, so this becomes um, one plus two, and if you exclude this, this just becomes include of this, which is two. So, so this is include is uh, three and exclude is two. Now, reaching the top uh, root node, include cost becomes one plus uh, minimum of here is two, and minimum of here is zero. So one plus two, uh, this becomes three. And if you exclude it, then it becomes um, in this include plus this include, which is four. So, uh, so since this is the root node, we can now make a decision as to which path to follow. And we pick the smaller of these two options, so we try to include this. And if you include this, we can see that the cost is three. And so we arrived at the solution here where, where B was included and the cost was three. And if you look at the solution or hint given in the problem, you can see that B is included and the cost is three. And you can run down this in reverse to figure out which nodes are actually included in the vertex cover. So um, that's it guys, this is the solution to this problem. The, um, the uh, order of this problem, as you can see, we touched every node one time. Now, obviously you have to have some, uh, some setup before, so a depth first search algorithm must have existed before um, because we walk away from the depth um, and we first do the uh, the leaf nodes and then walk further up towards the parents. And so the algorithm follows the depth first search um, design. So um, you obviously have some traversal required here, but as long as, I mean, we are not covering the traversal here in this problem because we just want to demonstrate the dynamic programming aspect of it. But if you walk away from the leaves towards the parents till you reach the root node, uh, and you apply the algorithm of computing the cost with inclusion, computing the cost with exclusion, and then uh, using that towards the root node. And at the root node itself, you can pick the minimum cost uh, with inclusion or exclusion, whichever is the minimum is your answer. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you understood the problem solution and, uh, and uh, you enjoyed it. And if you did, um, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I'll bring you more videos on dynamic programming very soon. Hope to see you uh, on this channel again. And thanks and until next time, bye-bye.